morning. This is Galahad from Survivors SKS Boards with the continuing story of product development for the Marcus Magazine Adapter. It removes the duct fill from the removable magazines for the SKS. Okay, um, this is the device. This one is handmade. It's a prototype. The, the one you receive will look much more finished and be much more finished like this one. It's um, anodized black obviously so you can see it against the white but this is what it looks like in your rifle. You, it basically disappears. So this one will disappear too. So this is the way you'll receive it uh, in the mail and this is how you're going to install it. That's the installation process right there. The only thing you need to do now is tighten it down. And as you can see, that's not what you would consider a difficult process. A little wiggle here and there just to make sure everything is getting torqued evenly. And that's it. Now, it must go in correctly because as with this device, the front is radius to match the barrel. If it matches the barrel, it seats on the barrel and it centers itself automatically. So once it's there, you're in. Um, we put the trigger in and insert the magazine. If it was any easier, let's face it, a caveman could do it. It's, uh, that's it. The Schoenig stock is problematic on a lot of different levels, but for the installation of this device, it becomes a little bit easier. The area where the barrel spacers go is simply routed out. You can cut it with a hacksaw or about anything you want. You can probably use dikes on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And just pop it out. So let's finish the installation. Uh, before we do that, obviously we have to remove the magazine. So if you're in the firing position and you want to remove the magazine, it's really difficult. You just push the lever and that's the extent of it right there. So let's... Uh, the trigger group. <coughs> I'm sorry for the coughing there. They're, they're uh, building a brand new school across the street and it's dusty. So it's um, causing a few little problems. So then we have an adapter installed and we're continuing with the Schrenick installation all the way forward. Very important. And it just simply drops down just like it's supposed to. If it doesn't, if it's a little tight, something's hitting someplace, you may have to take a little bit off the radius of the, um, uh, the forend here so it fits all the way forward into the flange on your rifle. Not all rifles, not all flanges on all rifles are identical, and it is critical that this fly all the way forward so that the uh, Spacing on the adapter is good. Boy, this has gone faster than I thought. Um, I just put the, put the um, trigger group back in. If the um, if the if the installation of this part is incorrect in any way, the pistol grip will not fit because these devices here slide into these large holes and if they'll go in everything is aligned so again you can't make a mistake if both sides are in and they are and they're snapped in um, the installation is complete as far as the magazine is concerned and again you can see that there's plenty of clearance here between the magazine and the pistol grip and it just locks into place and You now have a removable magazine non-duck bill on the uh, Sherman.
different stock. And it's, it's that easy.